Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to highlight one growth stock that's down 48.4% that you might regret not buying on the dip. Now, I'm not going to reveal this stock just yet. First, I'm going to talk about some of its financial metrics that has me excited about this growth stock. And then towards the end of the video, I will highlight what this growth stock is. So let's get right into it, starting with revenue. And I want to highlight two things. One is this huge dip here you see in 2020. Clearly, this indicates that this stock was devastated by the coronavirus pandemic. Indeed, it does rely on bringing together large groups of people in person. And so, yes, the pandemic was terrible for this company, but it's now recovering, although it's not recovered completely from the devastations of the pandemic. It's still on its path to recovery. But the good thing is that consumers are absolutely unleashing this pent up demand for away from home experiences. People want to spend time and money outside of their home. They are tired of buying things and spending time inside of their home. And so this company stands to benefit and has been benefiting from this trend. In fact, it has instituted price increases, several price increases to take advantage of the increase in demand. And in the trailing 12 months, revenue of 1.36 billion is still below the peak of around 1.5 billion it achieved before the outbreak and I fully believe this company will recover to that level because not only is this company raising prices but all of its competitors are also raising prices so industry-wide there's been price increases and so competitively it's still relatively in the same position it was before all those price increases went into effect it's just overall everybody's increased prices and that's good news for investors bad news for customers because they have to pay more and they have no other choice because everywhere is raising prices but it's good news for customer uh, good news for investors another thing i really like about this company is a very healthy cash flow from operations to sales Looking at this metric over the trailing 12 months at 19.73%, it's a very healthy margin. It's got room to recover back to where it was before the outbreak, but still, even at this level, it's very strong in terms of cash flow from operations to sales. Finally, the last financial metric I will highlight that I like about this growth stock is the valuation. This company is trading at a forward price to earnings of just 10.34, which is relatively inexpensive compared to the average stock in the S&P 500. And on top of that, the company's got nice tailwinds behind it because people, like I said, are going out, they're spending more money away from home, which is precisely what this company offers. So what is the name of this company? What is the name of this growth stock? This, this is Six Flags Entertainment Corporation, ticker symbol SIX6. Now, it's benefiting, like I said, from people wanting to spend more time away from home. Its competitors, Walt Disney, the Walt Disney Company, those theme parks, Universal Studios, those theme parks, they've all increased prices. So relatively speaking, it's on the same footing. Competitive pressure has eased and it's, incre it's increasing profitability industry wide. So I think it's in a good position. You're not paying a expensive price. It's got good cash flow from operations. For all those reasons, I think you might regret not buying this growth stock on this dip here. All right, but that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.